What's up everyone? So, I eat Quest bars pretty much every single day, so I was super excited when Quest hit me up to make coconut shrimp with their products. I thought their stuff was just protein bars and chips. I know they were gonna come out with protein powders, but I did not know that they are about to take over the culinary world. Yeah. Real talk though, these chips are my favorite. But I'm also dieting, so I can't eat regular chips just because of the fat content in them. But this has everything I need. For those of you guys who are tracking macros, let me it. just let me just read this to you, okay? Please. I'm gonna just read this. Blow to their you. minds. All right, 120 calories. This is actual potato chips. Beautiful. Total grams of fat, 1.5. Oh, I love it. Protein, 21. Grams. Unheard of! Unheard of! That's like a protein shake, like one scoop of protein. Mm. Five grams of carbs. These are amazing. My favorite one is uh, cheese. No, uh, the cheddar cheese, yeah. and then the barbecue. Uh, no, I, I, cheddar cheese and sea salt are my favorite. Anyways, anyway, jumping <laughs> right into the coconut shrimp. This is what the recipe calls for: a Scrimp. whole buttload of scrimps, and then of Jumbo course. Scrimps. You always have to have a marinade. In this marinade, we got garlic powder, cayenne pepper, and kosher salt, all in a quarter teaspoon. So what we're gonna do is just cha da 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 cha so sexy time. Sorry that I forgot to introduce my little Mexican helper. I got Gio right here. Everyone already knows who I am. Yeah, but they don't know that in Chef Boya Bart's restaurant that we keep the traditions alive. Where the Mexicans do the cooking. No. So please do the honors of mixing it up. What do I mix it up with? With your hands, just go like that. For real? Yeah. Okay. Do what your ancestors have been doing for years and years and years. Oh my god, this smells bomb. Does it? I, I, I'm just a big fan of garlic anything. Oh yeah, it does smell good. Oh man. Mm. Alright, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna pour all of that in here to make sure it marinates for a whole hour. Okay. Uh, this looks like a disaster about to happen. <laughs> well, they're gonna have fun watching it. Oh, wow, oh, wow. Oh. See, that's why you hire Mexicans. Shut up. Fine, sorry, I love you. Whatever. Will you marry me? No. They're always asking you when you're gonna propose to me. <laughs> well, I hope they're not holding their breath because that's not gonna happen anytime soon. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I gotta make sure I get this garlic, so let me use this little shrimp. So we got this yummy shrimp. Okay. Put it in this plastic bag. Bada bing, bada boom. Bada bing, bada boom, zip. And then let it marinate. Wow, I wouldn't smash it like that. Cha 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 Who shows this? Yours, yeah, smash it away. Yep. Cha 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 Look at that. Boom. And then, let it marinate. God, that made me nervous. So the next step is, I have to take the coconut protein bar mm. and put it in the toaster oven for two minutes at 350 degrees. And then now I have to flatten it out. God damn it. Oh, this is soft. Yeah. All right, oh, it just stuck. Why do you slam it? So that's how you gotta do it. That's how G's roll. You gotta turn it off. So turn the knob. Up, there you go. And then I gotta smash it, cause this is gonna be part of the breading. Oh, cool. You know how coconut shrimp has that breading on the outside to make it all nice and crunchy? I'm so curious as to how, well, I don't, okay. Wow, I feel like we needed some sort of flour or something. Flour, this is flour. So it doesn't stick. You know what? Sometimes things are just better done by hand. Okay. So I'm not even gonna use this because it's useless. That's too fancy. Cause I lift, <laughs> so I would just flatten it out with my hands. Wow. See? You're so strong. Look at that. Oh wow. Bam. So oh, look at that. Wow. Look at that. Way better. Gonna, what are you gonna do since there's it's sticking to your hands? You're gonna lick your fingers. Oh man, look at you that. were so you were on the right track, dude. You were doing so good. Look at that. Boom. Done. Look at that. Nice and flat. Boom. Down. Boom, 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 boom. Can you please show them what it looks like? What? It's this nice and flat. They can see it. All right. Fine. It's nice and flat. I don't want to waste any. I don't waste any of it here. Look at. No, I'm good. Okay. Now the next step is. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba now that it's nice and flat, I have to put it back in the oven to get it extra crispy. We're just using this just to re uh, 
reshape it so that later we can use it as the crumbs. So now I take this. This is all about finesse, which is what I'm all about. Oh <laughs> yeah, right. Nice and gentle. Don't be hating. No. I'm telling Look at the that. Truth. Boom. 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 Now. Oh, it should have stayed on. That's my mistake. Sorry. Right. Plenty of mistakes. There. Boom, right there. I would push it all the way to the back. But that's just me. But you're the cook. All right. I'm not taking your advice, but I put it all the way to the back. Okay. Then put it on for another three minutes on my trusty cracked iPhone. Yeah, it's obliterated. Boom, three minutes. And then, voila, for another three minutes, it got extra crispier. <laughs> so now we gotta take this off because this is gonna be used for the breading. <laughs> that's why I was laughing because I knew that was gonna happen. So apparently that's not how these things work. But how it does work is this method which I use my fingers to peel it off and I put it in the thing because it needs to be blended later on. Does it need to be crumbled? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so you gotta use this technique that I learned in culinary school. In oh yeah? Corner. What was the name of your school? Uh, Chef La Jacqua à la Tati is a quest. <laughs> and then I put this in here and then you just gotta keep scraping. I wish you guys could feel the pressure on this table because he's pushing down so hard. Because why, once again, I, I lift. Work out. No, I lift. I lift. <laughs> Throw it in here. What a pompous ass. No, I lift. Fine. And then you gotta use the age old technique of trying to. You don't wanna waste any food because all my Asian brothers that out there. That is freaking scary, oh god. My like Asian food. brothers out there, we know how much we hate to eat. Uh, waste food because our parents yell at us and you gotta put with them Okay. Oh my god. And then you scrape it off. This looks very interesting. You scrape it off like, like that, like that, like that. And oh, then, watch your fingers. And boom, why? Because you love me and you care about me? No, I just don't want to have to wait in the emergency room all day. Oh, why would you be in the emergency room? Because you love me and you care about me? No, because then who else is going to pick you up? No one else likes you. Fine. <laughs> so, once you got all of this on there, Next thing you do is you get the sea salt, the gel de the gel and you just crush it. Hey, I wouldn't do that. Okay. Sorry, bad pass. All right. So once you get all of this, you open this up and then pour it in here. I didn't crush it too much. Oh, that's good enough. Oh my god. I'll crush a little bit more. No need because we're going to crush with this. Oh, bada bing, bada boom. So we put it in the nice little blender. Let me connect you because you're not connected. I don't know why I'm not connected, but now I am. Blend away. This should be facing over here. So put this down here and. Wow, that's really strong. Nope, I need a little bit more blending for that coconut shrimp consistency because that's look like this. So that's a little technique I used in Jelequez. Wow, that is awesome. These blades are so sharp. I was cleaning it and um, I didn't even pay attention to the blade. Completely my bad. And I, I like ran across the blade with my nail. I had longer nails before. And it just like, like in the cartoons where they have a sword, it just goes whoosh, and then it Ooh. slides, it slices. The Smell this. Oh my God, that smells amazing. It's very coconutty and it has the sea salt in there. So bam, there we go. Then we put all of this. It looks like you know what you're doing right now. It looks like you know what you're doing. What happened to your face? I do know what I'm doing. Sure, bro. So we go like this, and then get the stuff out. Oh. oh my god. I purposely did that so that it can go right in the dead center, and then that's how all the flavor gets absorbed. Mm -hmm. Can you do the Mexican honors, please? Move it over there, thank you. And then, once again, we take all of this and we take all these crumbs. <laughs> Don't put it back in the bowl. And we put it on the side like this. Here. And then you form a line and then you snip no, it. No, you don't. No, you don't do that. You don't do that. Why would I ever say that? Now we're ready for the breading process. 
We got one, two, three. Got the powder blend, the mixed eggs, and the breading. The crumbs. Mmm, can't stop smelling it. What's in the powder blend? This has three fourths cups of this guy right here, the all purpose protein mix, pine mm -hmm. pepper, and kosher salt. Oh, cool. And then so mix it up. And while she mixes it up. So Asian, he handed me a chopstick. Duh. You know we have spoons, right? Chopsticks work the best, everyone knows that. Okay. And I also got the shrimps. And what we're gonna do is this. You're supposed to fry this, but given that I am on a cut, I want to make sure that everything is nice and lean so I will end up baking this. Before I bake it, I get some coconut oil because coconut oil is one of the best oils you can have. You know I use a coconut oil when I can. <laughs> Anyways, I don't recall anyone asking you any questions. I know, but it was silent and I felt I needed to fill no, that No, so I got this coconut oil and I'm just liberally putting it everywhere. That is a freak ton. Put it everywhere on here. Because Even the whole bottle? Yep. Because you don't want the shrimp and the breading crumbs to stick. That's too much. Even though it probably will because I'm not frying it. And frying it is the proper way. And then you get one of these little spoons. And an ancient technique is this is how you make sure that it's evenly spread everywhere. I wish you guys could see what I'm witnessing right now. They can't see because the camera is on. No, no, I mean from this angle. Mm -hmm. Oh, this coconut oil smells good. Well, it's coconut oil, you silly. What the hell is it supposed to smell like? Ooh, All right. a lot. Is that mixed? It sure is. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the scrimps and we're gonna go pop, pop, pop. One, two, three. Do you want me to get a... Go ahead and do the honors. Loud. Bam. 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 Thank you, ma'am. Whoa, we'll start, I feel fancy. We'll start the assembly line, and boom, there we go. Boom, there we go. We got the shrimps ready to cook. But if you're like me, and you like your scrimps extra crunchy. Oh, dear. Oh, you can't be wasting this batter, you know what I mean? You the breading. You can't be wasting this breading batter, you know what I mean? And we get some of the coconut oil on the side, you know what I'm saying? Just sprinkle it on top, you know what I mean? This is the ancient technique of the Greeks. This is what they used to do. So when the Greeks used to eat fried shrimp, they used to get the coconut breading, soak it up in the coconut oil, you know what I mean? And then they, you put it in the side of the gutter, like an irrigation system, and you just absorb all of that, all that good stuff. Get all that good stuff. I mean, it's just like keep moving. Oh, right? what's going on with your voice? Just, just go in there and then bam, put it on top. Oh yeah, put it on top. Bada bing, bada, bada boom. boom. And then we put it in the oven. It looks like a cake now. You put so much. You're fancy. And the shrimp is done. Bam, here we go, the coconut shrimp. Macros are 230 calories, 22 grams of protein, wow. 14 grams of fat, and only two grams of net carbs. Wow, that sounds bomb. So there you have it, coconut shrimp with Quest products. Oh my gosh, almost fell off. So if you wanna see other recipes just like this with a bunch of other Quest products that you can make at home that are super healthy and delicious alternatives to what you already like to eat, make sure you go check out the Quest YouTube. That's all for this episode. If you like to see more cooking stuff, let me know in the comments below and... Go ahead and visit my channel because I make ice cream with Quest products too. She did make ice cream and it was pretty good. And also, uh, let me know in the comments below what's your favorite Quest Bar flavor because who knows, if it's the same as mine, I just might do some giveaways since I do have boxes of these. Let me know. All right, peace. So today we're gonna play this game called Boyfriend Girlfriend Tag and it's this game to find out how well your significant other really knows you.